you know, oftentimes when we get into this discussion of auto identification technology, which includes barcode as you see on the left for item unique identification and RFID as you see on the right, uh, it's good to just refresh when to use these various technologies as you're doing your, your asset or your shipment identification. And as we know, it's the MIL standard 130, uh, which is the asset identification standard, which now uh, dictates that uh, the two-dimensional barcode be used on all qualifying assets. When it applies to your shipments, um, it's the MIL standard 129, which will identify whether an RFID tag is required as an embedded inlay in the military shipping label so that at the various DLA locations that are equipped with RFID reading capability, they can read those tags in right off of the pallets or off of the cases that they're receiving into those locations and really expedite the accountability that they have just upon receipt so that they can push through the put away cycles and have that uh, trigger uh, things such as payments back to the contractors.